She said, hey, when bad things happen, just look for the people who are helping. There's always people who are helping. And we, of any people, should be the ones who aren't running from the explosions and running from the gunfire. But we're the ones who have a hope so strong that we're actually able to run into them. Because, no, no, listen. I, I say this like really seriously. You know, Christina Grimey, girl from The Voice, we knew her. You know, I was talking to her on the phone last year about doing a YouTube thing together. She used to listen to our music as a high schooler. And don't think for a second it doesn't run through our minds that we could be up here on the stage and someone could burst that door and just shoot us. But you know what I'd say? That'd be worth it. If I get shot telling people about the only life there is, that's a life worth living. Because one thing I do know as I've gotten older, I start I like begging God, what's your will for my life, Jesus? You ever, you ever ask him that? Of course you do. And you know what I feel like God's been saying back to me lately is, don't worry about my will for your life. Just worry about my life for your will. Amen. In other words, like sometimes I get so caught up in this like 10-year plan, like what's going to happen out there? How are things going to resolve, right? What's the, what's the 10 year goal that you have for my life? And Jesus is like, what about the goal I have for your life today? You know, 1 Thessalonians says, this is God's will for your life, to be joyful always, to pray continually, to give thanks in all circumstances. This is God's will for your life. It's so funny, I, I talk to friends and even myself, I'm guilty of this. It's like, I want to know God's will for my life. And you're like, well, are you being joyful? No. <laughs> Okay, you're missing it. I want to know God's will for your life. Are you giving thanks? No. You're missing it. I want to know God's will for my life, but I'm living in fear. The most repeated command in the Bible is don't be afraid. 365 times. Hmm. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Isn't it beautiful to know that God's will for your life is to not be afraid? That's why he chased us all the way down into death. So that we would never have to be afraid to die. Because death came to us. Jesus chased you and me all the way to death. And so my hope is no longer in a world that resolves. My hope is in a savior who redeems. You know, there's actually... There's actually some Christian music stations who wouldn't play that song Warn. They said, that song doesn't resolve. It should say, and now I know redemption wins. Now I know the struggle ends. And I'm like, what planet do you live in? I don't live with that assurance. And you know what breaks me up is some of you might feel guilty because you have doubts in your faith. And so you therefore think, well, then my faith is invalid because I have doubts. I would say faith isn't faith unless you have doubts. If you didn't have any doubt, it's not faith, it's certainty. It's like my daughter yesterday. She was going up the stairs and she just watched Zootopia. Have you seen that movie? And she's deadly afraid of the tiger. I didn't watch the movie. I'm like, what tiger? She's like, the tiger's going to get me. The tiger's going to get me. I'm afraid. She started walking up the stairs. She's like, I don't want to go up to my room. I'm scared. And I said, baby, bravery isn't not being afraid. Bravery is being afraid and moving forward anyway. And she's like, okay. <laughs> you know? All I have to say, we've kind of been living this out this year. Walking forward, trusting that God's will for our life isn't some certain career path but it's just the posture of our hearts. Does that make sense? Yes. What if I told you that God, that your loveliness to God doesn't rise and fall with your usefulness to Him? What if I told you that? Does God want you to be useful? Yes. Is there some things you could do or not do that would make you more or less useful to Him? Absolutely. But does His 
feelings towards you change based on your usefulness to Him? Absolutely not. And some of us have been exchanging Jesus as our Savior for what we can do for God as our Savior. So to some of you, I'd say, stop living for God. What? Stop living for God. Start living because of God. Because sometimes all the things we do for God, subliminally we're doing to be accepted by God when we're already accepted by God. Live out of the acceptance, not for it. Right? I'm just kind of rambling now, but I was going to tell you this story. We're living this sort of crossroads of faith and fear. Our, uh, our guitarist, Jeff, on Christmas Day this past year, his uh, sister-in-law fell down and fainted. They do some tests, and they find out she's got stage 4 cancer. So this past January, we find out his brother's wife, she's 32. They have three little kids. They find out they have this, she has this radically aggressive stage 4 cancer. They start talking about flying to England for this, like, therapy that's not even been, like, certified yet. They're, like, trying every option. We're praying over her, believing God's going to just miraculously heal her because he does that. But she starts chemotherapy. And they're telling us it's going to be nine, ten months of this intense chemo. And to be honest, March, April rolls around, and I'm kind of just mad. I'm like, what's up, God? We are out here singing songs for you. <laughs> and you have the audacity to let someone we love get sick. Sound familiar? God, she is a good person. How could you let such a bad thing happen to a good person? Sound familiar? You know what God said to me? Real conversation. Hey, Mike. That's what God calls me, Mike. Hey, Mike. So, what day is it? What day is it? What day is it? Hump day! Mike, 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 Good Friday. God said, why do you call this day good? What you mean? It's on the calendar. <laughs> no, my, this isn't the day where bad things happen to a good person. This is the one day in the history of mankind when the worst things happened to the best person. And you're going to call that good? That's what they told me to call it. <laughs> well, why do we call it Good Friday? Because we know what happens on Sunday. But you know, this past Easter, feeling all these things, having that conversation, I started reading the Easter story. And you know what kid me? Did you ever notice Jesus didn't raise from the dead on Saturday? Couldn't. Couldn't you have made this a lot better for all the disciples who are running around freaking out, Jesus? They're all running around like, like chickens with their heads cut off, like, ah! Like, one guy runs and his tunic goes off, he's running naked in a field and stuff. I mean, it's crazy. The, the disciples are losing their minds. And we read it very arrogantly. We're like, <laughs> disciples, don't you know what's coming? <laughs> Pathetic. Ye of little faith. I feel like I'm doing stand-up tonight or something. <laughs> and this past Easter, for the first time, I thought, it's amazing. It's amazing that God waited that extra day so that those disciples could run around crazy, so that 2,000 years later we could read that story and watch those disciples and say, I'm not the only. I'm not the only one who freaks out. I'm not the only one who gets scared. I'm not the only one who loses faith that Sunday morning is never going to come. 
Jesus himself, remember what his last words on the cross were? Right before he says, I commend my spirit to you, he says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? As if to say, hey, when you cry that prayer, I know just how you feel. And so, thinking about those things, we decided we wanted to write a song for Ferris. That's Jeff's sister-in-law. As she was walking through chemo, we wanted to remind her that even though she might not know why this is happening, she can be certain that he is with her while it's happening. Is it cool if we try out a brand new song on you guys? It's not, it's not, record, it's, it's not on the record yet, but um, this song is called I Have This Hope.